The Uniform Guidelines on Employee Selection Procedures discusses the need for any employment test that is used by an employer to be valid and reliable. Let's discuss validity and reliability separately and then put them together. In simple language, validity is the extent to which a test measures what it claims to measure. The Uniform Guidelines require validity in our selection procedures. It notes that users may rely upon criterion-related validity studies, content validity studies, or construct validity studies to validate a particular selection measure. But what are these validity measures? Criterion-related validity is an assessment of the ability of a test to measure some other factor related to the test. Content validity is an assessment of whether a test measures knowledge or understanding of the items it's supposed to measure. So, in measuring content validity for selection, we have to show that the content of a selection procedure is representative of important aspects of performance of the job. A selection procedure can be supported by content validity strategy to the extent that it's representative as a sample of the content of the job. In other words, if we have good work sample tests or other tests of knowledge, skills, or abilities that are directly applicable to the job, then we can probably use content validity to validate our selection procedure. Construct validity measures a theoretical concept or trait that's not directly observable. For construct validity to be applicable, we must demonstrate that a selection procedure measures a construct, something believed to be an underlying human trait or characteristic, such as honesty, and the construct is important for successful job performance. For example, intelligence is a construct that's measured by an IQ test, and research has supported the IQ test's validity. Intelligence is a major predictor of job performance. However, the Uniform Guidelines say that this method of validation is far more difficult to demonstrate than the other two options, so it would be best if you could show that a measure has criterion-related or content validity. Reliability is the consistency of a test measurement. In addition to being valid, for a measure to be useful in any type of testing, including employment testing, it needs to be reliable. We want our measures when we're working with people to be reliable measures, meaning they should be consistent over time and between people. Let's put validity and reliability together by stating the obvious. If a test is not reliable, it can't be valid. 